hey guys, what's going on? It is Talk Forest TV back again with pretty much new style video. Obviously, I have been quite busy over the last couple of weeks with um, work and darts and football, so it has been quite hard to actually get a video together to actually keep you guys up to date with Forest. Obviously, I'm going to start to be doing a lot more podcasts on the channel with the match day experience. Um, it has been quite difficult to actually get a video going off over the last um, couple of weeks. I've been missing it. So obviously I'm back now with the podcast. Obviously I'm talking by myself. Um, but obviously it is the first podcast. Obviously Boris unfortunately to lose on the, um, Saturday up from there against Derby. Obviously Forest had a lot more chances. Then Derby, obviously, Derby scored within 24 seconds, which was quite um, disappointing. Um, I think with Forest, um, it's it, they draw a few. I think Forest had a amount of chances in that game to actually get something from it. It could have been 2 1 Forest in the cage score, and if a couple of the other chances that actually went in. So it was quite disappointing that we couldn't really. Um, Put any of them chances away, especially the case goal. Um, obviously, Derby went ahead quite early, so that kind of set the tone. And I think it was quite disappointing to say the least that we couldn't capitalise on the chances. I think we'll, we was the better team, and I think what Chris Commons actually said it was quite stupid. Obviously, it is anti Forest because he, he did use play for them, and actually. I might have stick to God, he didn't like it, and obviously he's the Derby fan. Um, I think it is quite disappointing that we did lose on Sunday, but obviously Forrest need to learn to actually take the chances when they do, and actually step it up quite a bit. Um, obviously a lot has happened since my last video. Obviously Forrest lost to Fulham, but then went and beat Sheffield United, which was a quite a good performance, I think, just for the international beat. Um, I think Forrest did take the game, they were supposed to start it. And I think Forrest actually, when the Mark Wolverton did change the team, um, obviously Forrest was a lot more better. And I think Forrest actually shown that quality that they did have. And actually, we went and won it 2-1. I think last half now was quite... Um, so I suppose it was quite, couldn't watch it and obviously Forrest did actually go and win again. I think the fans that day was brilliant, I think the fans stayed behind them like they did do and lucky enough with them, the fans, they won the team 2-1 two two victory. Um, I think Forrest fans, they just got to stay behind the team. Obviously I know a lot of fans after the double game wanting Mark Wolverton to actually be sat. Which I think it is quite pretty that they are wanting him to be sat. Um, I think on terms of him being sat, I think it, we've got to keep with Mark Wilberton and actually stay behind the, um, the team. I think we cannot keep on sacking managers like we have done under five or six years. I think that little bit of a will need to stop and obviously... Matthew, it's got to keep with Mark Wilberton uh, and actually let him bed in the squad that he does actually want and actually give him good two transfers to actually see where he can take us. I think he has got the squad capable of doing something this season, but he needs to keep on bedding in what he wants to do and actually keep on being the pace that I think he should do because I think if we don't, we're going to be struggling to actually compete with... <coughs> Um, likes of the top team so I think it is a work in progress with Forest. I think we've got to get out of this position where we need to be getting rid of, rid of our managers and actually stay down the manager for a good season so to actually let him bed in what he wants to do and actually let him build what he should do um, thank you for watching Talk Forest TV please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel thank you, thank you and goodbye